So One Punch Man Chapter 169 Daybreak is finally out in the wild. We get the aftermath between Gaul versus Satama. What's up, man? It's your friend, neighbor Nancy. Welcome to again with another One Punch Man reaction. I'm somewhat excited, somewhat curious about this new chapter. I want to see how they tackle this whole time travel thing. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of time travel stuff, right? It's like if something horrendous happens in the story, let it stay in the story, bro. Let people let people process the aftermath. Let them deal with the consequences. Uh, let that development happen for those characters, bro. That's that's what I like. The whole time travel thing it ain't really me. It ain't really me. But let's go ahead and get into the chapter. Let's not judge too quickly. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. They are beating Garo's ass, bro. They jumping this thing. They jumping me. They jumping me. All right, so first place, we got Garo in the aftermath for that punch and Saitama traveling through time. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think that punch was that hard, but old boy's face is gone right here, bro. <laughs> like, look at this girl. What happened? It came out of nowhere from a place where I sensed nothing. A punch with enough power to put even that body to shame. Mm, so he didn't even see. He didn't even see Saitama do it. Hey! Oh, everybody's surrounding him, bro. They about to jump this nigga. You're that hero hunter Garo, aren't you? Look at him, bro. Who are y'all? I know I know this is tank top dude. This is also a tank top guy. Who's the rest of your all guests? He's a tank top guy. Oh, these are, these are the tank top crew. Got it. <laughs> I was like, who are these people? And then Garo was just looking up. I'm like, bro, what the fuck do y'all want? It definitely bears a strong resemblance to my core, right? When I came to, I was holding this. Okay, he's talking to uh, Genos. And the crotch of my pants had blown out. What an unusual phenomenon. Might as well attach a subconnector to it and attempt to activate it. Okay, so he gonna get the memory. So Genesis is gonna know what's gonna happen because of this whole core. Got it, got it. Oh, it turned on. What on earth? It seemed like a real thing. Boom, they go to Spark. So Genesis is about to get the whole story. Is he gonna tell Satama or is he gonna keep it to himself? That's the question. At that moment, the memories residing in that core, that cross time and space with Satama came flowing into Genos, bro. This is so cool, it's so cool. Bro, look at this artwork, bro. This is the line work right here. Look at this, look at this. Look at this line work and the shading, bro. This is so freaking cool. Also, also, the whole Jupiter thing, the whole the whole fight on the moon, all this interdimensional travel. How did the core get all of this, bro? Like, like the core, it should have stopped working right when, uh, right when, um, was old boy named Garo killed, uh, killed Genos. So like, how how was it still recording all of this? This is, well, whatever. It's still cool though. It's still cool though. Hey, hey, and the Genos is just out of it, bro. It's, it's too much. It's just too much shit overloading his memory, huh? What's wrong, Genos? So sorry, I felt a bit lightheaded. This is my core, no doubt about it. If so, then what is this memory? It can't be a future that could have happened? Oh man, he's putting it together. I have no choice but to assume so, given the circumstances. Sensei, do you not remember anything? About what? According to the memory inside this core, both you and it came from a future point in time. Huh, this is gonna, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna burn the cogs in Saitama's head, but he's not gonna be able to put all of this, none of this together. To explain it in short, hit me with, Nigga, this is not short. I don't even want to read this. Oh my god. To explain it in short, it's merely a hypothesis based on the so-called parallel world of the multiverse theory, but I suspect that the core came from one of the countless parallel worlds that the Verge, I feel like I've been reading, but I only made it four lines down, that the Verge as a result of your actions, I do not know, <laughs> I do not know at what point this divergence occurs when the observer makes a decision or when the observer takes action, but it has been confirmed that a new you separated from the original you, we, we saw that part, at the start of your time travel and merged with the you of this timeline when the movement was completed. The timing of the separation and the Merging may be a clue to the timing of when a parallel world split off. Back to what I was saying. In the, in the future, where this call comes from, I was killed by Garo, even if you were holding back a great deal. He was holding back a great deal. Whatever. There is no way that you could have been outplayed by Garo, no matter how many parallel worlds exist. And in fact, the events surrounding the core may have. Oh, I, I, I messed up. The events surrounding the core have made it clear that even if the worst outcome had occurred with the death of me and all other heroes right before your eyes, you would have transcended time and space to save us all. That's that's not that's not that's not clear though. That's not clear. Um, what do you what do you say made it clear? The events surrounding the core have made it clear. Nah, that's not that's not that wasn't clear. If, if it wasn't for Garo teaching him the technique, that it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been uh him transcending time and space. Like he wouldn't have had the ability to do that. But uh, we're gonna keep going on. Where was I? I? I'm so lost. I'm so lost in this bubble. If the worst outcome had occurred with the death of me and all of the heroes right before your eyes, you would have transcended time and space to save us all. Your ability to transcend and manipulate the laws of casualty is now proof positive of your completely flawless sense of heroism, as we've come to expect from you, Sensei. As for the principles behind time of traveling backward in time, we can predict it will fall into one of three scenarios. This nigga is still talking, bro. The first one, I'm like, <laughs> I told you, bro. I told you Sai was gonna be able to put that shit together, but he's like gone, gone trying to think, and, and the smoke was coming from his ears, bro. 
based on the theory of relativity surpassing the speed of light beyond the event, uh, I can't read the rest. Increasing mass is the scale of the series. Can't read none of that. Got it. Dot dot dot. Hmm. I see. Anyway, enough about that. Good to see you the same as ever. And he just, he, he just, like, this dude really don't remember. He's stuck right here. He doesn't remember. Oh, he said it right there. He doesn't remember. <laughs> My man just isn't listening. No, this is sense that he might be letting other heroes who fought bravely take credit in a modest gesture like he did with Deep Sea King. And he just doesn't remember. I, I like I like how Jeno just, just sees nothing but positive light emitted from Satama, but he, like, there's it's no wrong, this man can do no wrong in his eyes. In any case, Sensei, you left through even time and space to save everyone, to save the world, not Garo. I mean, Garo taught, taught him how to do it, though. Did, did he not see that memory? And not anyone else in the entire universe besides Sensei knows that, except for me, huh? And look at him. Ah oh, man, this dude's in love, bro. He, he just, he just so, so proud to be this man's people. And then, and then Saitama's looking down on what's so funny? Nothing. I need to tell this to the people who need to hear it. It's my job as a disciple. Sensei, you showed up just in the nick of time to save everyone, you know? Just as one would expect of a hero. Eh? What's this all of a sudden? Not like I usually make it in time anyway. No, nigga, you definitely made it in time. There's a little joke there. <laughs> Terio! Terio, wake your ass up, boy! Mm. And he shouts Terio again. Stand up, little nigga. Terio gets up. Ah. Oh, oh, man, it's the ghost. It's the ghost of Cosmic Garo, bro. Look at him. Look at him. Shattering away, breaking into pieces. Uh, Uncle. Well, wait, Uncle. Come on, bro. This nigga is a... He's not a hero, but he's he's like an he's like an anti-hero, bro. He's something. This is this is humanity, bro. This is this is the human side of God that he so desperately tries to throw away, but he can't, bro. He just can't. This is this is the final step of the monstification phase that he cannot pass, bro. Te even though he technically turned into a monster, y'all get what I'm saying. Anyway, Ontario just standing there. A dream. He hears the commotion. I hear voices over there. Maybe that's where everyone is. He's running. They are beating Garo's ass, bro. They jumping this thing. They, they jumping me. Oh, I die here, honey. You sure gave us a beating, didn't you? Didn't you? Now it's your, uh, now it's our turn to do the hunting. I can't read. It's over, huh? It's all over. He's just thinking to himself, losing his divine power from a mysterious knockout punch. Satama, uh, Garo couldn't understand a single thing that had happened. Yet strangely, he accepted it without resistance. Perhaps it was because everything had been set up by his future self. Though Garo had no way of knowing it. <laughs> What's wrong, losers? Your hits are pathetic. Man, still talking shit. Hey, that's enough, guys. At this point, you're just smacking around an injured guy. Huh? That's what that's what they said. Whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> We're the ones who got injured by him. You saw how he went wild just earlier, didn't you? And we just sit here and have a nice chat about it. He'll incinerate us all. That's what uh, my master say. The human monster has already gone full monster. The decision to execute him is unanimous and not open for discussion. First of all, nigga, get your hands off my shoulder. Look how he gripping that nigga's shoulder, bruh. Get off of him. And then, and then on top of that, on top of, oh, I was about to, actually, that's the one story. I don't know if they're going to go, like, they, they, I read, I read part, I read mostly, uh, uh, one's version, the original story of, uh, One Punch Man. I read all of this. So, like, a lot of, Murata uh, deviated from the original story a lot. So, like, I don't know what the next art's going to be. I have a, I have a clue of what it's going to be, but... Based off all of this, Marauder may not go that direction. I was getting ready to spoil something, my fault. But anyway, nigga, you an A-class hero, gripping on the S-class. Get your hands up off me, nigga. Get off my traps. Get off my traps, bruh. I sure as hell didn't agree to that. That's what I'm saying, bruh. Look at this nigga, though, bruh. Like, get your hand up off me. And look at all the veins coming up. This nigga is a monster, bruh. This nigga is a monster. <laughs> he talking he talk about this dude. This dude is already going four months. Look at your face, bruh. This, this isn't regular. This isn't regular. It's over, huh? Oh, I, I went the wrong way. Same here, same here. Hmm, who are you? Who took down Garo anyway? Was it Blast? I'm not sure due to the vertigo, but it seemed like a naked man appeared out of nowhere, defeated Garo with one punch, and flew away. That pattern of movement does seem like something out of Blast's playbook. Has he met Blast before? Like, like I know he, I know they met them. Uh, I know he met Blast down in the, uh, you know, the caverns and stuff that he was at. But ha before that though, has he seen Blast in action before? Hmm. What? Blast? You're saying Blast actually helped out? And why naked? What does that say? Reputation, reputation damage. Boom. Da 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 da. And then Genesis is like, bro, y'all really don't. I'm tired of y'all niggas not giving my man's credit, but this shit is annoying me. Sensei, it is my belief that you are the only one with the right to decide how to deal with Garo. And why is that? Anyway, I don't know much about rights or dealing with things, but it kind of seems like he's just letting them hit him. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. He's accepting it. Why not just let everyone do their thing until they've all had enough? Not that it's really having much effect. I'm saying though, like, somebody might kill us, man. You just gonna sit there and let them kill us? I mean, 
granted, he kind of deserves it, but uh, come on now. That's not what a hero does. That's not what a hero does. That beat in this nigga's ass, bro. They turn this dude into a whole sketch out there. Huh? Girl, da 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 da. Hold it. There's something I need to ask him. Zombie man, why are you naked? That's, that's the question. You talking about other people naked. Girl, there's no way a human could gain that much power just through mustification. Are you sure that wasn't another source of power that was using you as a catalyst? For example, God or something like that. Flashy flashes, he's looking intently. And then Garl's just like, nigga, who told you about that? But zombie man, you was a smart mother. You know what? You, you smart. One of the enemy cadres shows similar signs. Uh, homeless, the homeless nigga, homeless emperor. There we go. God, Blast did say something like that earlier. Did he? <laughs> Garl's laughing. And then, then he just goes full bone, psychotic laugh. What the hell are you talking about, God? What a load of horseshit. Everything that happened here was all me. That's what he said, bro. That hurt my chest a little bit, but that's what he said. Look at this sketch, bro. This shit is angry, bro. This shit is... I love Marauder, bro. This thing is nice. Come on, hurry up and kill me. Just do it. This guy doesn't want to live anymore, does he? Come on, bro. On guard. You can't take the easy way out, bro. Again, I was, I was getting ready to spoil something. But um, you can't take the easy way out, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta meditate. You gotta think about what you did. You gotta let uh, Bong teach you the ways. You gotta go back under his wing. Something, you gotta do something, bro. You can't just go out like this. <laughs> Even he agrees with me. All right, time to conduct the execution of my mask. Calm down, nigga. Put the K-pop shit back on, bro. This ain't you. This ain't you, bro. You supposed to be singing and dancing somewhere. And then Terry, Terry runs in. Little Terry, let's go. Wait, and he stops him. Where this nigga get a cloak from? <laughs> My boy walking around with a toga. Um, Terry stops him. Gar is shot. Uh, the two kids are shot. And then Kane is shot. Uh, you're all me. You aren't you heroes? How could you do this exactly, bro? They all, they all just unanimously decided to kill this man, bro. They're not even second guessing this shit. All because they got beat up. I don't think any of them. I don't think the hero hunter actually killed anybody. I think he just hospitalized a lot of them. So like y'all, y'all, y'all are going crazy right now. Uncle is a real hero who saved me a bunch of times. That is true. Hurry up and run, Uncle. That's that's a that's a that's a die hard. That's a die. Hard. That's, a die hard. that's a ride or die. Please don't bully him. So he's the Uncle Terry was talking about. Is Kane going to step in? Kane's probably going to step in. Uh, I see. So the monster tricked you and lured you over to his side. Poor child. Is this nigga going to kill the child too? And then Terry yells out wrong. Right now, all of us need to do our civic duties as heroes. We won't treat him as badly as you think, so please stand aside, okay? Nigga, you was just about to execute this man. You literally said it with your own. You're lying. You said you were going to execute. Terry was right there, but me and Terry on the same wavelength, bro. Come on, stop lying to this nigga and put your veins away. That shit look gross. Uh, <laughs> man, this is a tough one. What do we do? There's no question about what to do. We can't let this guy run loose, can we? Of course not. Do you have any idea how much more damage monsters were able to cause thanks to this guy hunting heroes? I mean, he's a monster, so we really don't have a choice, do we? And then something's going on. Sound effects is happening. King's heart. Boom, what I tell you. Mr. King, everyone needs to stop. The King engine is warm right now. A child is watching. Look at him. Maximum output. I'm not gonna lie. This nigga is so ass, but he is so scary. But <laughs> I love Kate. I love Kate. Everybody is terrified right now. Mr. King, he's seriously pissed. Did we do something wrong? Y'all was about to kill a nigga in front of a child. What do you mean? Hey, King. And then, oh, am I mad? Is he going to step to him? Is he going to step? He's not. He's not. And then King looks at him. And then, boom. That <laughs> man went full silent. But that nigga is really scared of King, bro. This is great. This is great. And then look how he looks down at him. Mr. King. Look at Garo. Still shocked, man. And then, and then Bomb comes through. Garo. I won't let you throw your life away so easily. If you cause harm to people, then you must make up for it 10 times over, 100 times over by saving others. Okay, here we go. Here we go. S-Class Hero Garo in the building, bro. Reformed back and better than ever. I love it. That's what absolute evil is. Uh, oh, my bad. That's what absolute evil is best at, right? So Tama comes in, good for you. How's Garo gonna take this, bro? He's probably gonna, he's not gonna like this at all, bro. Everybody's switching up on him. This, this isn't what I wanted. I, I, I don't know what he's gonna do, but like I know that's what he's thinking, bro. Like, why why y'all niggas doing this right now? Everyone managed to show you what you really are. You're letting me live then. You're gonna regret that. I'm not gonna regret anything. I never got the chance to thank you. It was you who saved Genos and King, right? Thanks. What are we gonna do, Satama? Oh, this is a flashback to those two talking. Got it. What are we gonna do, Satama? Alright, you should um you should go ahead and keep your promise by stopping them. I was gonna stop them myself anyway. You know, I'm pretty sure that that guy is the one who saved you and Genos when you were back into a corner too. And then King shot. Da da da. <laughs> you really make me sick. And then, oh he runs away. He just jumps away. Dang, he left little Terrio behind, but take your take your homie with you. He keeps he keeps you grounded. Terrio keeps you grounded. This nigga is really out just 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 <laughs> just ass out naked, right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 
And then everybody looked shocked. They all look. This nigga is upset, bro. Amaya is upset. He got away. Shit. <laughs> Which way did he go, Derek? This dude is really trying to kill us, man. Look at his hands, bro. Just itching for it. He's just itching for it. That's wild. He'll probably be a repeat offender. Nah, he'll be fine. We should just leave the rest up to the old man. I like this. What's coming out the ground, though? Metal Knight. This dude shows up after everything happens, bro. And he's probably not even there to help. He's probably there just to collect uh, the data and stuff like that. I bet, I bet you that's what he's doing. Why? Metal Knight, it appears that the threat is over. Look at this fucking clown, bro. They got to question him. They got to question him now. They got to bring him in. Like, yo, why didn't you help? Why didn't you help? They got to do something about him. Look at, look, at the, look at the army, though. Look at the technology. It's, it's, this is great. This is great shading. I love this nigga. Uh, Murad, I mean. The ship I designed caught a nuclear blast. I will now begin a disposal of the fallout and an analytical investigation of the attack. All of you are suffering from acute radiation poisoning. There will be uh, a mandatory testing and decontamination procedures at the lab for everyone. R right. This man. All this. All is what you can help. Sigh, Sensei. For now, gentlemen, let's have Dr. Cassano uh, fix up your arm and legs. Then we can start looking for what's left of our apartment here in this tide pool. Right, this is the end. Dang, that's the end. Check out Becca Saku on Twitter. He's a person who's been telling me space. Yo, shout out to Becca Saku, bro. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. And that's it. That's my reaction to chapter 169 of One Punch Man Daybreak. This, this whole wrap up, it was nice. It was a nice conclusion to this arc. This whole arc was fire, by the way. I love the re-envisioning that Murata brought to the table versus one's original take on it. it it's, it's insane, insane, bro. Everything was, them niggas was fighting on Jupiter's moon, bro. This nigga sneezed Jupiter away. Granted, Jupiter's like 80% gas, but this nigga sneezed that bitch away to the core, bro. That is so crazy. Isn't Jupiter like 400 times? Earth's size, that is, it's so wild. It's so wild, like, the, the stuff that they come up with to, sh to showcase this man's feats, bro. Like, it's so cool. Again, my only gripe, my only gripe with this whole chapter was uh, the time travel. I just, I just don't like time, I just don't like it. But granted, with everything that happened, like a lot of the heroes died. Um, we don't even know, like Tatsumaki, like did she make it? Was she able to create a barrier? Fubaki, like, well, they, they're not in that general uh, vicinity, so they should probably still be alive. But there's a lot of there's a lot of heroes there that would have lost their life. So I, I guess I guess this is the this is the way to do it. But uh, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, let's stick around with the consequences. If anything was gonna make Saitama taking uh, all this stuff seriously, being a hero seriously, it, it would have been like the death of all these heroes. Because then now somebody's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to like climb the ranks. Uh, he does, I know he wouldn't care for it, but at least he would climb the ranks to uh, help out more people or whatnot. Whatever the case, maybe get some discounts. Cause you know he likes to shop. You know he likes to shop on sales. But um, but yeah, this, this chapter was great. I can't wait to see like what's the next arc. If they're gonna if they're gonna go the route that I think they're gonna go, or if they're gonna like switch up everything completely and go down a new path. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. This is so cool though. I like this. Um, with all that being said, if you like this reaction, you want to see more. Always oh, this side. I think it's this side. If you want to see more. <laughs> <laughs> there it is right there. Go ahead and watch last week's uh, reaction. I got more manga reactions. I got more videos and stuff like that. Uh, stay tuned. I'm coming back with a vengeance.